everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a long-awaited sketchbook tour. Um, this one's been a long time coming, I, I am aware. I've had this one since the beginning of December of 2019. <sighs> Simpler times. Um, so I'm well aware that it's been a long time coming um, for this sketchbook tour, so I'm very excited. Let's get into it. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsors, Squarespace. So if you've never heard of Squarespace, they're an amazing platform where you can create your own website and or online store. Squarespace has amazing marketing tools and analytics. It's an all-in-one platform that will help you have the best experience with creating your online presence and run your business. I actually have my own website on Squarespace. I've had it for years now, and I find it really helpful to run my online store on it while simultaneously having my website on there. It's a really easy to use platform and design tools which really helped me, someone who doesn't really know much about, you know, website design to actually create something good looking. <laughs> so whether you're just getting started or are an already established brand, the Squarespace commerce platform, which is what I use on my online shop, supports the way you do your business, sell your work directly or bill for design services if you prefer. I also have my portfolio and my animation gallery on my website. You can use Squarespace to present your work professionally. Uh, they have different portfolio designs that you can use and templates. So if this appeals to you in any way, head on over to Squarespace slash Piper to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Um, first things first, this um, sketchbook was a sketchbook I got from Tricky Wagon's online shop. Uh, she's probably one of my favorite artists that I um, and really, really enjoy supporting. Um, I have so many of her artwork, like everywhere, her zines and stuff. Um, so yeah. It's called, it's the Mental Vacation one. Tricky Wagon, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little faded now because I have been, you know, using it a lot for a while. So it's got a little bit of a fade in the creases and the corners and the edges of the uh, of the sketchbook. But, you know, it's beautiful. And uh, I'm super, super happy that I got it um, before it sold out. So yeah, as you can see, I had this sketchbook from the 9th of December. And coincidentally, I finished it on the 9th of May. Um, of 2020, so that's quite a nice coincidence there. And uh, if you'll remember from my last sketchbook tour, I drew this out when I was breaking into this one in the same video. So if you want to, you know, go watch me kind of sketch this cute girl out, uh, it's in the last sketchbook tour that I filmed. Um, yeah. Yeah, did the, all these little sketches, um, I think at a coffee shop, I'm pretty sure. Um, back before when we could go to coffee shops <laughs> So yeah, I did a lot of these sketches at a coffee shop it was a really nice time um, Yeah, and then I, I, I got some pictures came up uh, on my Pinterest of some really cool pumps So then I drew this really cute girl uh, with some cute pumps. So uh, yeah Just Some more sketches of course a sketch of my beautiful girl Velma. She's my girl. I love her so much um, I do a lot of random sketches of her every once in a while just because I love her very much um, And then this is when I was like again Feeling really self-conscious about my human figure. So I every once in a while I get really self-conscious about the way I draw bodies. So I um, do like a whole Moment where I just sketch out um, a bunch of human figures and trying to figure out like my way of drawing a human figure um, So yeah, I kind of settled on the way that I really like drawing bodies is like really long legs, thick hips, and like a very tiny torso slash chest area. I don't know, I just really like kind of that um, proportion. But of course this was like months ago, so things have changed a little bit since then. Um, and this was around Christmas, as you can tell. I made a really cute little uh, Christmas card uh, with all of my pets in it. Um, I'll post here like the finished drawing of it that I did, but it was mainly just for family and friends uh, But it, it ended up looking really cute <laughs> and um, That was this just sketches for um, the actual thing uh, Yeah, some more drawings more body studies and outfit studies and just figuring out body poses and then some more sketches of faces and and just some cute people, you know? Oh, and then I drew this really cute girl. I still really, really enjoy this sketch. I think it's it ended up looking really cute. Um, yeah, and all of these, by the way, were while I was back at home during Christmas, which was also the last time I actually went home to see my family, so it's very nice to reminisce on this. 
Um, I did some like random calligraphy practice here. I just asked my little sister to like shoot me some random words and um, I do like calligraphy of them. So <laughs> yeah, I, I quite enjoy doing that. This is a, was a little sketch for a little looping animation idea I had to try on Procreate that I never actually did. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe one day I'll get back to it. Um, yeah, and then I, I don't know if you can tell, but recently in these recent pages, I really got back into my um, like inking and brush pen and stuff like that. So I've been doing a lot of inking work in these few pages. And some more body studies of some more cute, thicker girls um, and some more, you know, calligraphy studies here. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this pose and this pose actually. They're very nice. And oh, then I uh, sketched out these really, these really cute, like these two girls over here. I actually turned these into a finished digital illustration as well that you can find on my Instagram. And this is a sketch idea that I had for a really cool ink drawing that I want to do. I still haven't gotten around to actually inking it, but uh, now that I've gone back to it, I may actually just go <laughs> and do it this weekend because um, yeah, just reminded myself that it exists. But yeah, I think it will, it's like a vampire -y kind of lady when she's just like talking to the skull of her ex-boyfriend or something. I don't know. It's just vampy and I love it. And then I do this really cool sword lady. <laughs> I completely forgot I did this. Um, yeah, she's cool. I did some hand studies over here. Some more sketching. Uh, more drawings and sketches of um, uh, this uh, this model that I really love. I follow her on Instagram. Her at name is Flamme de Pigiale. Flamme de Pigiale. I don't know how to pronounce it well, but you know, you'll get there. <laughs> and yeah, some more poses, body studies, and um, more dynamic poses I was, you know, experimenting with. My little sketchies. And then again, this is an idea that I had for a cool ink drawing of like of, with gold and dark blue ink. Still haven't gotten around to doing it, but eventually I will get back to it. And this was the initial sketch for a watercolor piece that I actually have on my shop now. It's a cute idea. I liked it. Oh, and then this is really cute. So this is um, every year for Christmas, my oldest sister's boyfriend always sends us like these really beautiful postcards of places that he's traveled that year. And um, on the back, it has like a really beautiful story of what they were doing or thinking about when they took this picture. And I really love that. And this year's was this one. It's a mosque at sunrise. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy this little tradition that he has and this year's was just so beautiful that I wanted to kind of do a study of it. So here it is. I did like a little uh, acrylic study of it just below. Um, yeah, it was really cute. So carrying on, did some more studies here, some more sketches. I've also really been into using like uh, pictures from catalogs and like online shopping and clothing shops for like human figure references. I don't know, sometimes they just have really cool poses and stuff um, that I can use out, use to sketch out. So that's kind of what this was. Uh, I also did these at a coffee shop, I think, in uh, Portugal, which was a really nice time. Again, this one was from, like inspired from a, a picture from a online shop as well. And some more ink drawings, some more body studies did this cute little drawing at a coffee shop as well next to my house that I really love. Um, yeah, I miss it very much. Yeah, and this one as well, I did at that coffee shop. I think I did all of these in one go when I was having like this really inspi in inspired morning. Then I went to the coffee shop, got a little coffee, and I just drew tons of uh, in the sketchbook and it was a really nice time. Yeah, the more sketches over here, this cute little cat. And um, yeah, and these were some more sketches for ideas for a, uh, some stickers that I might end up doing. Still not sure, maybe, who knows. Oh, and then these were some acrylic studies that I did um, while I was back home. Yeah, really cute. Uh, again, from like opening and closing my sketchbook, um, some of the paint has chipped off and stuff, but you know, it gives a character. And this, if I'm not wrong, was from a, a sketch with me video that you can uh, see on my channel. So I did all these uh, sketches 
uh, live on well, not live but you know real time on the channel and uh, yeah this was a draw this in your style that I did with my hoo-hoo markers and, and this was just another random sketch that I never got back to yeah some more sketches some more cute girls, of course. I drew these at a coffee shop back in Leeds, actually. Um, so before this whole coronavirus thing went down, um, me and some of my uh, friends, we used to like meet up at a coffee shop on Sundays to like just sit down and sketch in a group. And it was so, so nice. And this um, page was from one of those sessions. I drew out this really cute girl with some uh, ram horns and kind of fell in love with her. <laughs> And um, yeah, and then I also drew out this cute bunny. I actually posted this on my Instagram and made like a colored version of it as well. And here's that cute girl again with the ram horns. Love her very much. She's so cute. And yeah, I think I drew this one out at the coffee shop as well, maybe. Or maybe it was from back home. I can't remember. But oh, I think I drew this one out in a um, ASMR video, actually. The more sketches. Uh, the, the, this um, this girl here was actually inspired by one of the contestants on um, Next in Fashion. Um, she's probably one of my favorite ones uh, on the on the in the competition. She always has like these amazing hairstyles at, like every episode. And this one that she had was super cool, and I just like had to sketch it out while I was watching the episode. So I did a bunch of sketches inspired by her, uh, including this one. I just kind of like cleaned up a, a sketch and made it more, you know clean and then here we've got some sketches of kiki cute girl kiki and then i this sketch actually i turned into a finished digital drawing of kiki um, and kiki and uh, yeah kiki's delivery service in case someone doesn't know <laughs> and then these were some sketches and ideas for a looping animation that i did for loop de loop which is like a monthly ish <laughs> competition not competition but like a, a live brief where you can they give you like a theme and you do like a looping animation based in it based on that and uh, this one was mushy so I ended up going for this one here I can actually put the looping animation here for you guys to see the final one that I went for and yeah so here's just where I storyboarded it kind of before I took it into procreate and some more sketches. Oh, these are actually some development sketches of a my D and D character. I have a D and D. Um, I'm in a D and D campaign, which is like a Harry Potter um, D and D. Uh, campaign and, and these are just some initial sketches of my character um, Yeah, this is a happy frog that Devon drew <laughs> in my sketchbook um, Yeah, this is my the final designs of my my character. Her name is Harriet Totter. Yes, Harry Totter um, Yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> But yeah, she's really cute and she's got a cat. His name is Mr. Shirt King because he's a um, a little munchkin cat and yeah, I love them very much and this is also a little final drawing that I did of her with Mr. Short King. And yeah, some more sketches over here on this side. And then I went wild one night and I actually drew out a house, which was really fun and like therapeutic. I really enjoyed it. Um, did this cool drawing of a picture I saw on Pinterest. Um, and I really enjoyed doing this sort of like pencil and, you know, a, a marker, single color illustration. I haven't really done many more of these, but I definitely will now that I've remembered that. <laughs> and I just, I really like the look of it. Oh, and then I drew some, some this good boy, and then I drew this disgusting boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still working on like drawing animals from memory so this was following like a reference picture and this was me when i was like oh yeah i got this in the bag i'll just draw a dog no problem and it he just looks like a smear frame from a scooby-doo movie and we just don't want to talk about it <laughs> and yeah some more sketches i drew this really cute boy at a coffee shop as well one time um i don't know if you can tell but i really love going to coffee shops and just sketching <laughs> Yeah, I drew this girl at a coffee shop as well. Some more body studies, some curvy girls. And yeah. And this was another Draw This In Your Style that I did uh, with my markers. I like to shake things up a bit. I sometimes do Draw This In Your Styles um, digitally on my iPad and sometimes I feel like doing them in my sketchbook with my markers. It depends on what mood I'm in that day. Yeah. Yeah. 
again just some more sketches nothing really intriguing in these two pages i think i was having like a, a bad drawing day and i just you know put it behind me uh yeah oh this guy uh i think i saw him at a coffee shop or something and i was like drawing him don't know why um and then i saw this girl at a coffee shop and i drew her but like she obviously didn't look like this but i just kind of imagined that she would um yeah some more cute drawings uh, this was from a reference picture on Pinterest as well of a cute outfit that I saw. And uh, oh, this is a drawing of uh, a friend of mine. Uh, actually, it wasn't meant to be, but then when I finished, it actually ended up looking like uh, a friend of mine. And I was like, well, that's weird. But yeah, and keep drawing this girl. And oh, yeah, so oh, a lot of these were actually when I went to Belgium uh, two months ago. I was there for Anima Festival with some friends of mine and um, some of my uh, friends from uni. And these sketches I um, were some live drawing from a um, natural history museum that we went to. So there were this really cute, uh, some really cool taxidermy um, section and some cool dinosaur maquettes. And I was just having a time of my life just drawing out dinosaurs and cute bunnies. Uh, so yeah, some more cute dinos. This was the museum that we went to. It was the, uh, yeah, Natural History, I think it was a Natural History Museum of um, Brussels. So, yeah, it was really fun. Love them dinos. And uh, apparently this dino uh, hearts egg, as uh, Devon so <laughs> blatantly uh, described here. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, these were some more sketches from Brussels. We went to a fine art museum, which was gorgeous. It had beautiful sculptures and paintings, and it was huge, and uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. And these were some live drawings from that as well. And here as well, uh, La Reine Louise Marie. So I think she was a queen called Louise Marie. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was the dog from a painting as well. And oh, these sketches were for a three marker challenge that is coming out next week, actually. I know it was ages ago, but um, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> spoilers on the uh, on the final piece. Oh, this was actually an idea for a um, a comic that I had that I still haven't gone around to doing. It's about like um, curly hair, so I still need to go back and actually fix that. So yeah some more sketches over here uh from pinterest some more practice sketches um some more over here i drew this cute um cute girl with some magic braids and uh, that i really enjoyed and yeah some more sketches nothing crazy uh and then this actually if you'll recall is a um, like a sketch that i cleaned up from way back here in the beginning of the, of the sketchbook that I thought I'd give another go at, maybe turn it into a more finished piece. But again, I never went back to it. Um, but I do really like these two sketches that I did. I think I did them like I was in bed or something and I was just looking at pictures on Pinterest and, and practicing, you know? But yeah. And did this cute girl and then I did this cute girl. <laughs> I love just sitting in bed and drawing cute girls, okay? Um, yeah, some more body poses and more sketching of some cool faces on Pinterest. And this was a recent sketch in the video that uh, just came out uh, this month. So if you guys want to go watch that, it's up on the channel. And yeah, these were some more sketches I did in bed at night. Uh, yeah. And then um, I remember that I had coloring pencils. <laughs> and so I, I whacked those out one weekend and I just kind of went a bit ham with them. Just drew a lot in, uh, with my uh, favorite Castell polychromo pencils. And oh, and that's the last page. So yeah, I did some more body studies on this last page because why not? And that my friends is uh, pretty much it for my sketchbook tour. I, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this. I've already started my new sketchbook, so sadly I won't have a little part of the video where I'm breaking into my new one, because I already did that, sorry. Um, <laughs> but it is another Tricky Wagon <laughs> sketchbook. <laughs> Actually, I got two in a go when I got this one, so, you know. 
Thank you again so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link down there to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see any of the sketchbook tours, I have a whole playlist on my channel that you guys can um, watch through. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.